Hiya, it's Star Necessity here. I hope you guys are good. So I wanted to talk to you guys today about my top 10 fragrances, uh, which I think will be amazing gift ideas for Valentine's Day. Um, in no particular order, I just wanted to go through the fragrances that I use all the time that I love and the ones that people actually stop me and say, where did you get that? What are you wearing? So the first fragrance I have is by Givenchy and it is the Accord Particular and the packaging is very sleek as you can see the bottle very sophisticated it's got the Givenchy logo here so you know it is a Givenchy fragrance just in case you missed it and also it's got a magnetic lid so it kind of like shots and it's very tight tightly sealed so when I smell this fragrance it smells of money <laughs> just keeping it real it smells of money it smells rich like you want to say who, who just walked into the room um, no it's very sophisticated and very elegant and very classy and classic and um, it's one of my few favorite um, fragrances that I cherish and I do not use anyhow so guys if you want to smell like money this one is for you a cord particular by Givenchy The second fragrance I want to talk to you guys about is this amazing fragrance by Lancome and it's La Vie est Belle. Um, I love the cute packaging going on here, the ribbon is very feminine um, and also um, it's very classy. Um, when you open it up again, you know, very tightly sealed so that's quite good. Um, and when I smell it, it's actually quite a strong smell but it's a really nice refreshing strong smell so I absolutely love that. I I will definitely use this on a summer's day. It's very, very fresh and very, very flowery and very feminine, really. I absolutely love it. So, guys, I wanted to talk to you about this Ajmal fragrance called Aurum. So, what had happened was I bought one of these. Actually, my aunt had one of these and um, she had it in the gold and she also had it in the silver and I fell in love with this instantly. Um, so I went to Dubai and I bought one and um, it got taken off me, the first one. And I went on Amazon, I bought another one and it got taken off me and I was thinking, ciao, I am made of money. So what I then did was I actually bought these little mini samples of different Ajmal flavors and um, of different Ajmal fragrances. And this is one of my favorite ones. Um, from there because obviously that's the reason why I bought the rest right just to try other fragrances um, And I hit it because anybody taking this with me again um, So yeah, the whole fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me mm -mm. You're not seeing my fragrance at that time. So I hid this one and I have cherished this fragrance. It is Got a very refreshing oud um, scent um, very very refreshing it's very crisp but that's the word I, I would refer to as crisp and I love the whole gold packaging it's very Middle Eastern and it's also got um, some brown going on here I think it's the I don't know maybe the, the leaves that were used to create this um, it's I will call it it's a it's power in a bottle it's very strong but it just it's just amazing it's just very refreshing very mint and I would definitely recommend this one Another fragrance I want to bring to your attention is the Jimmy Choo fragrance. Um, it's got the JC representing over there and it's also got it here. Um, the colour is very regal really gold um, and I love the packaging. Um, also it's got a bit of a, a clasp here which you can pull out um, which prevents it from spilling. It can be quite hard to get out um, and obviously if you want to spray it just press it down. Um, the only thing I will say about this fragrance is that I don't think it's very safe for traveling like in a suitcase or whatever that's my advice i wouldn't want to waste any drop of it so i would advise it stays on your dressing table at home um it smells um again very sophisticated fresh um but also quite grand quite classy um quite classic as well so i really love this one um it's it's definitely pure sophistication in a bottle i really like it So the next fragrance I want to talk to you about is the Versace de Lantelle Voice. Um, very, very sophisticated. It's giving me genie bottle. Um, it looks like holy water. 
<laughs> um, definitely, um, I use it all the time and um, it's also got the Versace signature crest here and it also says Versace around it. So you can also see the Medusa head on there and um, the scent it's giving me, it's giving me freshness, it's giving me summer, it's giving me holiday really, it's giving me holiday, just somewhere in Europe, um, yeah, probably Italy. <laughs> So yeah, definitely I recommend this one. I use it all the time. Absolutely love it. Favourite. So I have got here the Giorgio Armani's Sea Passion. Um, and this is definitely a passionate fragrance. It's ideal for Valentine's Day. I am in love with this. I use it all the time. It's such a sweet smell. Um, I love the packaging as well. I love the fact that it's identified separate to the usual C because it's red, which stands for passionate, of course. Um, so yeah, it's just a very sweet, romantic smell. So definitely go out and get this. It's great for Valentine's Day. Next fragrance that I'd like for you guys to know about is this um, Aqua di Palma Blue Marine Fico di Amalfi. So the bottle is ocean blue. Um, and it also gives me um, the vibe of Italy, preferably the blue grotto. So I really like that. Um, and also, if you open the lid, it smells very fresh and just it just smells amazing. It smells of being in Italy, it smells like a holiday. So definitely, I will definitely get this um, if you want to feel like you're kind of on vacation, even though you're in the UK or wherever you are, this is the smell of Italy. So the next fragrance I would like to tell you guys about is Ed Novilo and it is um, Lost in Paradise. So this is um, a French brand and I love their fragrances and um, also I love the crest on the lid. The packaging is lovely, it's very sophisticated and very minimalist but also bold and it uses gold. Um, in terms of the scent, it smells very fruity and um, summery but also very strong scent and very sophisticated as well. I really really like this one, I would definitely recommend it. The next fragrance I would love to let you guys know about is this Estimula Infinite Sky um, and I love the, you know, the bottle, it's very classic, it's very chic, it's elegant. Um, it's also got the EL which stands for Estee Lauder on the lid and um, when you open it as well it's actually quite secure magnetic lid as well so very secure um, and the scent is actually it's very it's a dark it's a spicy oud scent um, and i love my moss <laughs> Bye, ta-da!